Hi guys, welcome back. This should be the last video in what is in my ephemera box. So let's open it up and get this one done. So this was a bunch of different tags that I saved from a gift. And even though it has something on there, they took the time of adding a grommet. Uh, so I thought, you know, you could center a picture on there or whatever you wanted to do. That's fun. Foil uh, leaves. Oh yeah. Don't we love these clear, not clear, um, opaque tags? Uh, this is what my Jeep looked like actually. So it's a magnet and you can put magnets in, in your book. And then we have this little tag. I don't know what that's from. Probably pants. Anyway, and then you used to be able to buy these little adhesive pockets that you can put in. This one's probably a little trash. I see there's fuzz on it. But really, come on. Okay. Then, of course, we have a trading card pocket and some more of these. And if you saw the last video, um, I'm, I'm going to pick up some, pick out some of the things that I used uh, in these hauls to show you what I would do with them. So like the tags or this, I'll, I'll make a video for that. So that, those are things that'll be coming up to be continued. Now, if you have a really small glue book or journal, these wouldn't necessarily work, but you could always, you know, cut them in half and put one on one side and one the other. Um, I thought that was interesting. It's bread. So like I said, I have lots of images. What is that? I think it was from a picture of a rug or something. Cookies. So just colors that I like, themes that I like. Monster feet. <laughs> a pretty um, crystal of some kind. Look at that. It's very beautiful. I love this. So cool. I think this came from Happiness Magazine. I believe so. What was that? some fish oh yeah and a purse I love that a cool microphone of course I would probably cut this part out or you could journal inside of it look at that that's amazing oh look at his eye <laughs> this is actually part of some old wallpaper that I had in a wallpaper book and I ended up donating most of it but um, I pulled out the images I liked. Okay so we have a ribbon just for you. Valentine from one of my kids at preschool. A little sticker. Another preschool students um, tag. We did handprints one day, so I was like, ooh, I'm gonna make my own and put it in my one of my journals. So I probably would want to tape over this or laminate it to make sure that uh, the ink doesn't fade, you know, eventually. So this is part of a product uh, packaging. Very, very pretty. You could paint on top of this. Oh, here's another one. And even like trying to get my, um, my, uh, what was it? The Sharpie paint pens to work. You know, that's still pretty interesting and could make a, ba a cool background. Let's see. I never use, oh, we did use one of those always like the idea of taking things like this and 
making this a miniature glue book that you could put inside of a glue book. So what else? Okay, guys, I wanted to show you this is another way. I had added one of these, um, the, what would you call it? There's a name for it where whatever the leftover remnants of the stickers are, you take this off and add it as a background to something. That's cool. Have an NFL tag for apparel. What else? What's over here? More of that. Look at this adorable drawing. <laughs> I love it. And some packaging from some stickers. Oh, one of the junior police badges we got. Let's see here. Is this another tag here? Let me see. Oh no, this is part of a sticker. From a sticker package. And then when I was in aftercare, if I was all done with my work and I was just watching the children play or whatever, I would take a piece of paper and fold it multiple times. And then you just take that little section and you doodle in it. And you just keep turning it over. And then if you, if I would have time, I would color them in. So I could use this entire paper as a background or cut out the individual ones. You know what I mean? So this is a great thing to do maybe if you're watching TV or you're waiting at an appointment and you want to do something creative, you could do this. This is easy. It only takes a pen, a marker, a crane, anything you want to create you know, a, a decor. This is probably my favorite style of doodling right here. I love that. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Let's see what else. Oh, I've had this for a long time. And I love the tassel, so I figured one day I would have this outside of a journal. What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. So we buy uh, meal warms for the bluebirds here and I liked this packaging so I might just you know I could just keep out the birds um, if I wanted to so yeah it has like a little zippy opening but I love the images of the birds so yay what else oh coffee stirrers package and this, again, these just make the greatest little um, pack um, pockets for your journal. So you could trim this part off if you wanted to, or use that as an area that you put the glue on, you know. So whatever you put in there, if you seal it up and maybe you affix it to the bottom of your journal, you know, you could do it like that. Have your tip and move down like this off of the page. And nothing will fall out, out of it. Got lots. So I'm not going to go through. I think I'm going to go through all of those images. Let me just see what else we have here. Because there are a lot of images. And what do we have here? A little cardboard. What's that from? Little, oh, it's... um. This com uh, this business in Fort Myers makes a haunted house every year, and they give the money to um, charity. I'm not going to show you that clown again, but they are the the best. Um, I've been to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios many times, and they are as good as they are. In fact, I've seen their houses. This um, little uh, nightmare, a nightmare on third street. Some of their houses have been better than some of the houses at universal studios. I'm not kidding you. So if you're in Fort Myers, check it out on their website and I highly recommend. All right. So I have obviously tons of pictures, not pictures of, um, postcards and things like that. I'm just going to put it over there. 
If you really want me to go through the pictures and the bags, just let me know. But I'll show you these really pretty um, cards. I had gotten these coast card coast cards. These postcards in Tennessee. This is my favorite place. Is um, Cades Cove in Tennessee. Look at those little raccoons. Love them all. Oh my goodness, can you imagine? Oh, that's adorable. Ruby Falls, another ticket. Ooh, that's so cute. Oh my goodness, guys. I think I'm going to start sending postcards to my family and friends in the mail as a way to say hello and just sort of touch base. So people on my mother's side were some of uh, related to the Ogle family and they are part of our family way back. And this is a really cool place to go. I highly recommend this. It has a really cool story. The, um, and then, of course, Islands of Adventure. <laughs> Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. The Poseidon Adventure. I don't even know how much longer this is even going to be around. Um, they're making... Um, Super Mario World 3D World there, and I cannot wait for that. Dr. Seuss Land, when my oldest son um, was in college, he did an internship through the summer there. Cat in the Hat. I think this is Stanley Falls. Let me look. Oh, Dudley Do Right's Ripsaw Falls. You get soaking wet on this. It is a lot of fun, and I'm pretty sure this is, uh, is this, no, they're not changing that one. That one's still there. And what is this one? The Dueling Dragons, which, of course, actually, let me look here. Yeah, Dueling Dragons, um, it, but now this is another roller coaster, and I believe it has to do with Harry Potter, maybe the motorcycle coaster. I, I can't tell you for sure. Popeye's. Uh, you do get a little bit wet on that too. <laughs> All right, let me see if there's any other little things. I had um, used so much of my stash. Those are definitely... Oh, let's see. I see something here. Old movie tickets, which I'm sure everybody has used those. What did we go see? Me and my youngest son went to the... Yep, Zombieland too. When was that? November of 2019. <laughs> and contact paper. Yeah, this is just pretty much cards. And what is this? A sketch? I was sketching a horse, a horse's head. I don't really stick to realism. I'm not the, the best at that, but um, sometimes you just have to try things out. All right, I think that's it. Another package. Banana sticker with a cat in it. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, wait, one. Let me close on this one. What preschool teacher is not really a preschool teacher if you have not used googly eyes? Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this collection. I really appreciate it. And if you have a moment and are interested, subscribe to the channel and um, like the video. It really helps me grow. And I will see you in whatever the next video is. Bye. Bye.